Your fire. Own boat. Yes. Actually, it's it's being built right now, but we can say yes. Okay. So okay. How, how Twenty-five. Awesome. Power. <laughs> You guys got insurance? Hey guys, I'm here at Reef Runner Boats. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey guys, I'm Mike from Reef Runner Boats. And I get the question a lot of the times via email, in the messages, in the comments. Hey Mike, you know, I love all the boats you're on, but you know, 200, 300,000 isn't an option. What can I get for $75,000 and under? That seems to be the sweet spot with like financing companies and stuff like that. So generally, I haven't had a lot of recommendations because it is super hard to find a boat for under 75 grand, especially when you start loading it up. So I'm gonna give you guys secret sauce. I'm gonna give you a few different options here, but this boat I really like and I'm gonna tell you guys why. You know the formula I have to have. We have to have three-piece construction. When yeah. I build a boat, I have to be able to throw as many rod holders as I can. Also have the toe kick room. Um, it comes in handy for putting lights under the gunnels. Absolutely. I mean, just a lot of reasons to have three-piece construction. So these guys nailed it on this boat. Number two, I gotta have a flat deck from the stern of the boat all the way to the bow. When you're running up hot on a fish, I like to put bean bags up there. I don't like forward seating, more storage. Not for me. If you guys need that, they have an option here that you can do that, right? Like Absolutely. families, it's nice to have. I understand like you got kids it's nice to be able to cruise with some seating up there. Absolutely, what we did with our 23 footer is we tried to satisfy the fisherman and the family man. Now it is hard to do that with one boat. So we came out with two versions of the same boat, the 23 open and the 230 cc. The, the family version has forward seating. It's a little more family friendly. You got a lot more room. You know, you have uh, options for a freshwater shower, you know, a, a toilet, flushing toilet inside. So the open version gives you the three-piece construction with all the room around the bow to fish the front of the boat. You got the platform to fish the back of the boat. You got a uh, tournament, uh, live well leaning post options, outrigger options. So you could really get the fishing boat out of a 23 footer. And we could also start you at a very basic package with a 200 horsepower and a T-top for around 65,000. It's doable. For the average working guy, that's okay. doable. You know, the trucks are financing around that price. It's easy to get a boat finance for around 60 grand. So 65,000, no electronics, right? No, that's yeah. starting, that's light on the options without yeah. electronics, but you're starting at 65 grand and you're getting 200 horses, which is plenty of horsepower for this boat and a T-top. What we have in the floor here, 65 gallon insulated macerated kill box, okay. which is from here to back there so you could fit a nice kingfish or a mahi in there with gotcha. no problem it'll keep your ice cold all day long okay then we have under the seat here is the freshwater fill okay so this there's a hose that goes down under the deck to a 20 gallon freshwater tank that's under the deck okay and then that got to have fresh water that that has a, a pump inside the console that is teed off to shoot fresh water out the tower out the side for a hose or a fresh water shower at the transom. Okay. And then this is a new mold that we brought out this year for a hard top. It's a two piece mold. Uh -huh. So we could put, you know, two different colors, two tones. You have the option to flush mount electronics on the there front or make it a storage box up front. We got nice fat two inch pipe. Yeah. Powder coating available. We could do windshield, plexi windshield or ice and glass okay. options. You got a 40 gallon live well with a little bit of storage here for tackle, knives, and you know, any kind of fishing equipment you want to store. It would be good for me to buy this for my boat. This is a nice one. This is great, man. You got 40 gallons. So this is a 40 gallon round live well okay. with a pump at the bottom and a high side drain. Yeah, so no stand pipe to yeah. beat your bait fish on. Exactly. So the real secret sauce when you're building a boat and you got to stay in a budget is the electronics. This one's not rigged yet. But when you're building a boat, it's very tempting to throw 10 speakers on here, a 16 inch screen, VHF, yeah. all this stuff you're not gonna use. But 
you know, my advice is go with last year's mo last year model, you know, 10 inch Garmin, yeah. 1040 or something like that. Yeah. Um, only do two speakers, no amp, go right to the receiver. Uh, you don't even need a VHF these, these days. I don't need one. I'm hardly on a VHF anymore. A handheld's fine. Mm -hmm. um, really skimp on the electronics because my last boat, I put a $6,000 stereo system in there. I spent 2500 on the Garmin 7612 or whatever it was at the time. And now all those things are four grand for a 16 inch. So you'll it's, never see that money again. You don't need it. It's easy to blow 10, 20 grand on electronics and sound systems. Yeah. So 65 grand. Boat, motor, spend five grand on electronics, you're at 70 plus tax, you might be able to do it Absolutely. on this boat. Absolutely. And I you're think you can get, work with you. And you'll get a great boat for your dollar, a great riding boat. I say we take these guys out for a sea trial and show them what it's yeah, got. Yeah, let's do it. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> Thank go. you. Thank you, Mike. Awesome. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? I'm Mike. Captain Mike. Hey, Captain yes. Mike. What's up? Nice to meet you, Jay. Hey. And I'm hurting. <laughs> <laughs> She feels solid. I mean, it's like a two foot chop in here. It's soupy. Alright guys, so I just want to show you around this particular boat what I really like about it. First of all, starting with the bait well here, 40 gallons, pretty much pressurized, comes all the way up to the lid here. So this is going to be kind of grand central for your baits. Um, I personally wouldn't put the rocket launcher on here just because I sabiki baits a lot, but to be comfortable you're going to want the backrest. Um, I personally don't need it, but when you're sabiki baits you have to come under here a little bit, but that's alright. Um, you can see the hatches here. Good storage right there. You can put dock lines or whatever. So here's the console not rigged up like we were talking about. 65,000 gets you the boat kind of as is with a single 200. So don't go crazy on the electronics here. You know, you only need a little eight inch screen right here. Save some room for maybe when you have more money, you can throw in a bigger screen over here, but uh, go eight inch, maybe put your stereo receiver here. If you wanted a VHF, a VHF is about 250 bucks these days. Trim tabs, dual throttle, Evan Rude. Um, you know, this is standard with the boat, but I like the tilt up steering wheel because when I'm backing down, I like to, you know, kind of control the steering wheel like that. 
So we got the three-piece construction. Here's the screwless rod holders. You guys can load the gunnel with this. Also notice the non-skid is really, really strong on this boat. And then up here, notice the speakers. Don't do that if you want to stay within 75 grand. Don't go crazy on the stereo. And trust me, if you're a fisherman, you, you won't be using the music much anyways. And then here's a big kill box. Um, you don't have to use this to put fish in. I like to use fish bags, but you can use this for more storage if you needed it. You know, if you're doing a long trip or something and you got some, some gear you need to put in there, that's a dry area there. So that's pretty awesome. This is a great boat for, if you can do this for 75 grand, and I don't know how much they're gonna charge you for this top here, but if you can get this done for 75 grand, you guys are fishing, you guys are at the sandbar, you're having a good time with your friends, your family. I got no problems with this boat and I wouldn't recommend boats if I didn't really like them. I'm not sponsored or anything by Reef Runner. I just know these guys through the social media platform, but uh, you know, always support small business, but this is a great boat in offshore fishing and you wanna be able to do inshore as well. I like the height of these gunnels. You can see they're at my thighs right here. So when you're fighting a fish, your toes are underneath you, you know, and you're secure in the boat. So and just check out this Invincible coming over here. Woo. So that's gonna cost you a little bit more than 75 grand. Just a little bit more.